Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also click the notification bell. This is me unboxing my open boxy charm. I opened it earlier. Where I live, we have a cluster box, and so I have to go out and get my mail. I knew it was coming today. I received notification the other day that it was going to be here, and I um, clicked to update tracking. And so I did know this is powder. I just put paint on my face and the Fenty powder, so that's what I'm shaking off of my shirt. So I knew it was coming today, and it did. Um, I knew I was getting <laughs> the Tarte Face Palette. I knew I was getting the No Problem, and something else I knew I was getting, because 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 of an email they sent. They sent me three things that I was going to get. And so I already was thinking, like, what am I going to do with these products? So the box is open. Uh, get away I'm not getting away with anything in this box but let me just say this too I really love the concept of boxycharm I'm not mad at boxycharm what annoys me is the amount of fragrance that companies put in their products my skin cannot handle a lot of fragrance my nasal allergies cannot my eye allergies cannot you know my eyes will start tearing and stinging and my nose will start burning and start running my face cannot tolerate a lot of fragrance so that's like a pet peeve of mine and it's not boxycharm's fault i mean sure they contract with whoever to put their stuff in the box but it's not their fault if companies are putting a lot of fragrance in their stuff and so i was not at all excited for anything in this box <laughs> except the gloss <laughs> <laughs> and I got this shade <sighs> Foster Grant reading glasses plus 1.25 because I'm wearing my contacts which help me see far so when I try to read and see something up close my vision oscillates so this is strawberry lemonade I can see I've seen it with my glasses on so the only thing I was excited about is the gloss, because I can pretty much wear gloss whether it has fragrance or not. Um, I don't like sticky glosses though. Oh my gosh, I cannot get this open. And so, but the gloss is 17, the box is 21. So this is Strawberry Lemonade. I did just put the Fenty um, on my lips, and so I'm not going to try this on. And I don't know if I'm just going to like sell this entire box to a friend of mine for the $21 that it cost me. So I'm waiting to hear back from her. And so I'm not even going to open this. But this is the only thing I would use from in this box. So $17 for this. The box is $21. And so even if I had to pay shipping for a gloss, it would be the $21. And so I'm not I'm not mad at Boxy Charm. I just dislike not being able to use products because then I end up giving them away, which is not a big deal. But I've always been able to use at least three things out of each box. This one, this is the only thing. And I'm like, and I was really going to cancel. And then I saw sneak peeks for next month. And I like that eyeshadow palette. It looks pretty. And it retails, I think, for like $32. So I'll still be with BoxyCharm in July. I did get the, see, my hand doesn't even want to hold it. The No Problem <laughs> Prime Essence. Touch and Soul. I can almost tell you right now, I will never buy um, this company's face products because they sent us the, the regular primer from this company a few months ago. I tried it once. My skin did not like it. The scent, I was like, okay, let me try and work with it. I'll put it on. But by the time you put on your foundation, your powder, whatever, it'll mask it. My skin was just like... And so I ended up giving it away. I, I think I used it twice just to try to give it a fair shot. And my face was like, no. This I opened in the car and I opened it. It smells like a friggin' bouquet of roses. And even just doing that that little bit right there, like my nose is, is itching. So I'm like, there is no way. <sighs> I would use this. So this goes on as your last step, step in your facial routine before you put your foundation on. And this retails for $23. And again, I'm not mad because some people love fragrance stuff. Some people's skin just loves everything. And so um, looking at the comments on Instagram, some people like are in love with the box. I'm sorry. This one is 9A, the variation. It's not even an A. It's a heart. That's because you know why? I ain't have my reading glasses on. 
<laughs> Box variation nine. <laughs> and I've seen videos and people love this variation. I'm just like, I just can't with the fragrance. The next thing, uh, me and Tarte don't get along. Um, <laughs> be you naturally. This is never going to be me. This retails for $36. And so for those who love Tarte and love these eyeshadow palettes from Tarte, like this is a heaven box. And so I'm not mad. I, I, I'm just annoyed that I'm not able to enjoy the box as much as other people. So this is what the outside looks like. And <laughs> I was watching a video today. Someone noticed that this was um, a sticker and I'm thinking of course it's a sticker because they it doesn't come from the manufacturer like this It comes in a container and you put whatever you want on there But she unpeeled this off enough for you to see that there was a rainforest of the sea Sticker underneath this and so her theory was that these were extra pallets like empty pallets And they just slapped a new sticker and said okay This is made exclusively for BoxyCharm because they had an overabundance of the outside packaging And I was like wow and the other thing she pointed out was I'm gonna take this out and right now, I can smell chocolate. I can smell this from here. It's, it's just ridiculous. And she also noticed that this was blank. Where the Tarte palette we received a few months ago, it had um, Rainforest of the Sea where it said Tarte or something on it. And she noticed this was completely blank, which I didn't even notice that first, even though I've seen a few videos of this. But when she said it, I'm like, yeah, why does the other one have something and this doesn't? And hers was peeling up and she peeled it off. And so it's just like a blank sticker. And so... I, I agree with the theory that this really was just like an overabundance of um, compacts that they had. And they're like, you know what, let's just formulate more shadows and put in here and say it's exclusive to BoxyCharm. And she noticed, I think it was this shadow over here. I can't see the name. Dusk. This is Dusk. In the previous palette we received, she swatched them. They are exactly the same color. So even though they're saying this is exclusive to BoxyCharm, this color is definitely a repeat. The package is a repeat. I'm just like, and I don't even care. I don't, I don't even care. But this smells so much like chocolate. I am not. And honestly, I would try these. But because of the scent, I've tried Tarte before. I've tried um, the Too Faced, you know, the chocolate palettes and all of that. And it was, my eyelids would burn. And so I'm like, whatever they're using for fragrance in these, sorry to blind you, I, I just can't. I can't. And this is 36 bucks. And so I'm going to see if my friend wants to just buy this box for 21 And if not, then I'll just parcel, parcel it out on eBay. I've been posting in the BoxyCharm swap group on Instagram. I don't really think people are serious on there because they're like, oh, yeah, I want this. I want that. I have powder in my hair. That was a nice transition, right? Because I see, I'm like, this is gray hair, but it's not. It's brown, so this is powder. Um, <laughs> Fenty powder. Cashew. It's a cashew powder in my hair. And so quite a few people are like, oh, I'll swap y'all trade. And I messaged a few people, and then you don't hear back from them. So I'm like, well, does this even work? So I'm like, you know what? I will probably parcel it on eBay. <gasps> Excuse me. Prosecco, please. Steve Laurent gel. Jelly. Jelly highlighter. And it's sort of like a cream highlighter, but softer. And as you apply it, it kind of turns into like a powder feel without looking powdery because it's a jelly highlighter. And the ones I've seen are really pretty. I'm realizing I'm not really a highlight person. Uh, so I'm not even going to open this till I find out what I'm going to do with this entire box. And that retails for $26. And we have three Pure Lease. Sheet masks. And this these retail for $24 for a set of three. Matcha green tea antioxidant antioxidant sheet mask. I kind of want to try one, but I kind of don't because months ago we received the Tatcha face mask. And I was at my partner's house. I'm like, hey babe, we're gonna do masks. And he he's so easy going, he's just like, okay. <laughs> I do have him using an exfoliant, like a mask exfoliant. You put it on, let it sit, and then rinse it off, which is awesome. And, and he experiments it with different brands, found one he really likes. I, I digress. But the Tatcha one, it was so much product in this. When I pulled it out, it was dripping. And I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm. I just cringed inside at the thought of putting this wet, gooey, mask on my face and 
So I just like squeezed some out and I just put it on my face and he put the mask on and he was like, yeah, this does feel kind of gross. <laughs> and after he took it off, he was like, eh. And so I've just been kind of turned off from the idea of masks because of that experience. It, it just, I just, and I'm a texture person. So anything, and it was like, it felt slimy. And I'm just like, I, I couldn't imagine just putting that on my face and just... I just ruined my hand towel wiping off the Fenty. I didn't want because I didn't want to get it on my mug and this is easier to clean than a towel, right? I love this ceramic mug. So yeah, we're not gonna talk about we're not gonna talk about that. So this Boxy Charm, you pay $21. That includes your shipping. You get a hundred plus dollars of product in the box. I love that it's four to five full size products. And so it is an awesome deal for the money. Even if there's only two things that you like out of the box, you've already used, will have more than the box worth of products. And so, I'm not mad at BoxyCharm. I'm just annoyed this month that the only thing I would use would be the gloss. But next month, I want that palette. And I don't think the palette is a variation. I think that's the standard in everybody's box. And so... So I'm just going to watch, keep watching the sneak peeks, and if it gets to a point where it's a box that's looking like similar to this one where I won't be able to use anything or won't want anything except like one thing, and the one thing is less than the $21, then I just might do the unsubscribe, subscribe, unsubscribe, subscribe thing, but we'll see. So let me know what you guys' thoughts are about fragrance and products. If you like it, if you don't like it, if you have boxy charm, if you're loving it, if you're not loving it, um, and if you did get this month's box, what variation number did you get and what product or products did you really love and that you're excited to use from your box? And so that's it for this video. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you're new here and you enjoy the babble and the what the hell is she going to do today vibe, um, then go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell and just stay tuned and I will be back soon. Thanks guys. Bye.